going on? Oh, my head. Oh, God. No. We got married. What, what the? I cried. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't think that we. What? You know. What? No, what? What are you talking about? What if we had sex, Jerry? Well, I'm supposed to get that from half a sentence. Can you finish your sentence? It's okay. It's totally fine. Because you know why? Because we're both fully closed, so clearly nothing happens. Yay! <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't be so sure of that. But your shirt's still tucked in, Jerry. Doesn't mean anything. That's my thing. After I do it, I get fully dressed. It's just something I've always done. That is super weird, but I'm still dressed, and that's certainly not my thing, so... Doesn't mean anything, either. Because I dress the other person, too. That is so creepy, Jerry. Creepy would be leaving you there naked while I'm fully dressed to the nines. That would be creepy. But because I'm a gentleman, and I have class, I find your clothes, and I put them on you perfectly, as I have possibly done in this case. I'm gonna go to the shower and scrub everything. I'm going back to bed. This is... Who goes to school this early? Like, what are you going to do? Mark? Ah. I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by. I'm awesome. Bell's going to ring. Let's get to class. Jerry, we need to talk. Yeah, what about how you used me for my body last night and wouldn't drive me to work? No one can know about this. Obviously. Think I'm proud of this? That's probably the best night you've ever had. For me, that's the lowest I've ever stooped, Lisa. Oh, Jerry, come on. Rock bottom for Jerry Duncan last night. That's great. I get it. Okay. Mom's the word. All right? Don't tell a soul. It's embarrassing even walking in with you. No, 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 no. In my country, when two people get married, we say, Congratulations. What? It means, hold it. Well, how do you know we got married? You've been bragging all over town, haven't you? What are you crazy, Jerry? I received all stuff. E blast. E blast. Hey, that's it. You too, Miss Mason. <sighs> Kids know. The children. The children know. You see, see the old students. A uh, tad unprofessional, if you ask me. Please. Over the top. My life is ruined. My life Your is life. Over. Your life. This is creds for you. Oh, come on. Guess what? Oh, uh. Is that Uncle Tommy and the nightmare is over? No. I convinced Mother to invite you over for dinner again. I thought she hated me. She did, but nothing a little sweet Simon pillow talk couldn't fix. I knew she wasn't a monster. Be careful. That way can I bring to dinner? <laughs> Anything, except pie. Don't, don't bring pie. Yeah, I feel like pie's a real trigger last time. Sort of working through that. Maybe a tart? I would say let's avoid the whole pie cake family. Right. You know what? Don't bring anything. Nothing? This is gonna be so fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's open up our congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Maybe you're not aware of how marriage works. For your information, when a woman marries a man, she actually takes his last name because we are still the king of the castle. So that is a very ignorant comment. Either way, good job marrying up, Mr. Mason. Oh, huh. yeah, right. Pretty sure Miss Mason is the one that married up. Obviously, girls, right? This is such a surprise, Mr. Mason. I thought you were gay. Because I'm pretty, pretty, because I'm handsome, pretty handsome. Is that why? That makes sense. Mr. Mason, if you're such a good catch, are you saying you settled for Miss Mason? I don't settle, okay? Mr. Mason doesn't settle, because Mr. Mason can get Mr. Duncan, Mr. D can get who he wants to get, so I don't settle. Open your books, let's go. Ladies, tell oh, hey, Lisa. What's new? Nothing. What's new with you? Well, Bobby was just telling me about the time she made the worst mistake of her life and how disgusted and ashamed she felt. Mm -hmm. And then um, Trudy was talking about how she got super loaded one night and then married this huge, this huge loser. Mm. <laughs> and then, of course, we realized that we were both talking about you. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Okay, yes, I married Jerry. And that was after he had publicly proposed to another woman, which makes you, Jerry, wait for this part. Second choice for a wife. Ah, wow. Let that wash over you. That day. All right. I did a terrible thing. Okay? Guilty. But we've all done stupid stuff. <laughs> I don't think like that. You and Robert in the car? What? How about, how about the cold cut buffet with Dwyer? Just 
Bon appetit. I don't know how you know that. Oh, I must have told her. Thank you. Trudy, you and your brother? Your brother? Ew. No, it's complicated. Yeah, I should hope so. It's disgusting. So let's cut Lisa a little slack. Okay? All right. Yeah. You know, sometimes the heart wants what the stomach can't keep down. I have the image of your brother in my mind. <clears throat> yeah, me too. <laughs> this book is overdue. Hey, don't you dare reshelve that. Hello, Spencer. I wanted to offer my condolences. Oh, nobody died? Well, that's surprising because your book's a week late. Please tell me you didn't dog hear that copy of Great Expectations. Miss Trudy? Did you see what's going on here? Uh, yes, you seem swamped. I'll say it again. This library is the only thing standing between these kids and full-blown, hardcore illiteracy, and it is seriously understaffed. I need an assistant. Well, what would you say to 30 assistants? If you're not going to take me seriously. I am, though. Behold, the first shipment of e-readers. Oh, that's supposed to help me. It's the entire library at the push of a button. <laughs> that technology is light years away. Really? Can you help me find animal signs? Sure, I'll just look that up. Ah, no need. Locked and loaded, Connie. Oh, but you need to check that out. She doesn't. See, she's already checked in. To the future. All you have to do is enter your student ID and Robert's your uncle. <laughs> Seriously, Bob. My name's Robert. Hey. Mason, I need to speak to you for a second. No, we hardly like each other. Go to class. Oh, listen, babe. Did you just call me babe? I guess, because we're married. That's hey. what you're supposed to do. I don't like it either. Speaking of which, we gotta go get this annulled right now. Okay, don't you have class? Who's asking me? Principal or wife? Your principal. No class. Your wife? I do. I have the grade 12s. Don't tell anyone. Jerry, you can't just... You know, this is way more important. What are you doing? I was going to kiss you, because I'm your husband. No. But not in front of the kids, I get it. Or anywhere else in front of anyone else. I don't know what I was thinking. Bad, bad, Jerry. Dumb idea. Well, this is nice. Hey, oh, Bobby! So nice to see you. What can I help you with? Well, you know how we have health class scheduled later on? Sure do. I've been preparing for it all morning. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and cancel that and just stay in the classroom and work out these e-readers instead. Wait, you might want to reconsider because I've put aside some nifty hard covers uh, about the uh, digestive system, and I think your class would really enjoy some of the pop-up illustrations. I'm going to like that bitch anyway. <clears throat> Of time machine race. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pop up. Uh, before finalizing the annulment, I need to ask a few questions. Sure. I've been answering questions all day about this. Really? Well, people are surprised that I would. So I've been getting that all day. Oh, right. So, was either party already married prior to the nuptials? No, no, no one's ever married me. <laughs> she did sleep with my roommate. I had that few notes. Does either party lack the mental capacity to understand what marriage entails? We do not understand that question. Was the marriage consummated? Absolutely not. Uh, we're still trying to determine that, no, uh, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, I I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you two were intoxicated at the time of marriage. Annihilated. <laughs> yeah, very. Blind drug. Couldn't Blind see a heart. thing. Had I seen a thing, uh-uh. <laughs> Absolutely <Yeah>. wasted. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we're there. I think we're done. I think. There you go. You hold wow. on to that. Oh, thank God. Uh, we got off of that. Hey, you know the rule about bringing those into school. Spit the nuts out of your mouth or I'll give you something to really choke on. Mr. Keeley, about the e-reader. Uh-huh. New shipment just arrived? Just put a rush order in for more? Thing is, I don't need any help. I mean, what's a few extra hours of unpaid overtime? No biggie. I hope you kept the receipt for all of those silly, stupid... E-readers. You're kidding, right? I mean, look around. <laughs> oh, my God. We might not even need a library anymore. What? Hey, it's lunch. Go play outside. But I want to read from my tablet. You can't make me play. Loving the new e-readers, Miss Dirty. A2, bitch. These mashed potatoes are so buttery. Oh, Thank you, Misha. <laughs> of course, it's margarine, but how could you know? Right. This is so nice. My favorite lady sitting across from my other favorite lady and me in between. <laughs> right in the middle. 
<laughs> I'm so glad that you did this, Mrs. Hunt. I really want us to get along. If my Simon is happy, then I'm happy. What a nice thing to say. Yeah. I wonder who that is. Simon, do you mind? Of course. This is going really well. Right? <laughs> Mother, Soul Patch is here. It's Steven. Oh. It's Steven. Mother, a word? Excuse us. Yeah. Yes, honey? This was supposed to be an intimate threesome. What the heck is Soul Patch doing here? You know how I feel about your pie peddling prostitute. I... If you mm -hmm. want me to give Misha a chance, then you give Steven a chance. You wanna dance? Let's dance. To the dissolution of our marriage. No, it's a bullet. <laughs> you guys have had quite the 48 hours. Yeah, we certainly have. <laughs> could you imagine us married? Oh, you're nagging? Your voice, your laugh, your nitpicking? No, I could not. Okay, pump the brakes there, all right? You're no picnic yourself. Wow. I mean, you're offensive, you're lazy. Stupid. Yeah, you're a little stupid. Stupid? Well, you thought we owned the house we rent. Well, sorry, I'm not a bank manager who does mortgages or a real estate agent. Well, potato, potato. To us. To the end of us. End of us. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Tequila. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, that's the one. Mm -hmm. What flavor is it? Tequila, buddy. All right. Special occasion. I believe in you. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh, nope. Nope. Right. I'll do my own shot. Mmm. 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 Another one of those. I don't drink things that taste like fruit. Mm. Can I have another tequila? Yes. Mmm. 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 You've met potatoes since you died for. Oh. Is this margarine? Yes. Seriously? Well, it ain't butter, I know that much. It ain't butter. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't butter. So, um, Stephen, what made you choose motivational speaking? Oh, Misha, I'm so glad you asked me that question. Motivational speaking is a calling, so I didn't choose it so much as it chose me. Okay. And, um, did you have to study for it, or? No, I don't believe in standardized tests. Misha? Stephen is gifted with inspiration. Something that I find pretty darn sexy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh you are bad. Hey. Oh, you're so bad. You're always putting things in my mouth. That is it. Simon. I have had it up to here with this tomfoolery. You can do so much better than this knob. Well, I could say the very same thing about you and your floozy. Floozy? Well... At least my floozy isn't a pile of human garbage with a weasel face I can't even look at without wanting to row! Hey! hey. Yeah. What the? I happen to love this face. Now fix it right there. You love that face? You love that face? Okay. Time to choose, mother. Because it's him or me. What? Simon. It's him or it's me. Honey. Stephen and I, we have something special. You know how hard it is for me to get naturally lubricated with a man. I know. Why does he know that? With Stephen, well, it's just different. It's way easier. Him? Or me? Oh, don't make me choose. You just did. Oh. Simon. I'm not going to believe what I did last night. You married Lisa. How the hell do you know that? You told me before you left the bar. So you let friends drink and marry? Who am I to stand in the way of love? Love? It's Lisa. And you can do a lot worse, Jerry. It's Lisa, Bill. You keep saying that, but if you take away her voice and her laugh and her personality and the cat thing, what do you have left is not half bad. Still Lisa. Plus, you're 40, and 40 and unmarried is getting pretty close to weird uncle territory. True. 
Yeah, you ticked off that marriage box, buddy. Right, buddy? That was big for you, and you did it. I did check that box off, didn't I? I'm married now. Well, she got a nice place. She does. <laughs> what the hell's that? I checked off a pretty weird box myself last night. Weirdo. Her, not you. So this is how it ends. In with the new, out with the old. No use for us anymore. The world has moved on. Mr. G? Oh, hello, Lucy. I'm looking for mice and men. Fire up your tablet. I mean the book. I'm like the tablet that's green with my eyes. Oh. Oh, it's a terrible shame. That's not just awful. Let me see what I can do for you. I know it's not in here somewhere. It's on the north side of the mountain, I'm sure. Oh, here it is. You're not a smoker, are you? Oh, good. That's due back Friday. Never a dull moment, right? I'll tell you one thing. I will never drink with this guy again. He swears he's. <laughs> I mean, who gets married by accident twice in two days? It's crazy. We did. What? We got married twice. But what does it mean? You're slow learners who can't hold your liquor. Exactly. Um, so just sign on the line. Okay, Jerry? What I'm saying is maybe we are rushing this second annulment. Jerry, what are you trying to say? I'm single. And you're single and lonely, always alone. And we're not getting any younger. Aren't you tired of your whole life being work, cats, work, cats, work, cats? Don't you want something? Jerry, there's more to me than just work and cats. You know what they say, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, and that's fate. Okay, nobody says I'm that. I'm Mr. D, please check out the website. Morning, wifey. Let's move the couch. I'm not moving my couch. This is marriage, I'm sorry. The cat's like it's straight. There's pills to put them down. What? No, no, no. Oh, gosh, Lisa, let's come out of your money, because I don't have money. Yeah. 